Hello students. In this video, we're going to use what we've learned in the last two videos to help us solve quadratic equations in this form. So in particular, we're going to first rewrite that as a square of a difference. And from that, we can then go ahead and solve the equation. So let's go ahead and start. So we think this might be of the form a squared minus uh, sorry, excuse me. Yeah, a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So let's just do a quick check to see if that's in fact correct. So if a squared is x squared, a is x. If b squared is 9, b is 3. So let's just check to see if 2ab actually does equal negative 6x. Well, 2 times a is 2x. b is 3. 2x times 3 is 6x. So it does fit the pattern. So that means I can rewrite that expression on the left as a difference, a square of a difference. X minus three, all squared equals zero. Now this one's actually quite easy to solve because both of my factors are the same. So if X minus three is zero, it must be true. So if X minus three all squared is zero, it must be true that X minus three is zero. That's the only way that can be true. And therefore, it turns out we only have one solution in this case. The only number that makes that equation true is x equals 3. You could sort of say we have two solutions, um, x equals 3 and x equals 3. But of course, because it's the same solution, we really only have one. OK, I'm going to scroll down and try this one. So there's the quadratic equation. Now, the first thing you might note is we don't have a zero on the right-hand side. So the first thing we have to do is rewrite the equation. So if I've got a negative 32 on the right, I can turn that into a zero by adding 32. And my new equation becomes 2x squared plus 16x plus 32 equals 0. So that's the first thing I had to fix, is rewrite the equation so I have 0 on the right-hand side. Now, the next thing I have to do is remember the fact, or the, the axiom, that always factorize first if possible. So in this case, I can take out a common factor of 2, since 2 is a factor of each of those terms, x squared plus 8x plus 16 equals 0. So that's step number 2, is to take out the common factor. Now, this might be a square of a sum. So let's just check to see if it is. I'm just going to do this in my head. I'm not going to write anything down this time. So if it is, then a equals x and b equals 4. So what is 2 times a times b? Well, 2 times x is 2x. 2x times 4 is 8x. And it does fit. So therefore, I can write that expression in the brackets as just a sum, a square of a sum. In particular, x plus 4 all squared equals 0. Now, we've got to solve this equation. Well, 2 can't equal 0, but x plus 4 can equal 0. So we write that down as our next step. And if that's true, then x must equal negative 4. So let's go back through the steps again. So the first thing I had to do is to get a 0 on the right-hand side by adding 32. The next thing I noticed is I had a common factor in each term, so I took out the common factor. I then had to check to see if this fit the pattern a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, and it did. So because of that, I could factorize that in one step. Um, that equals the square of a plus b, the square of a sum. Okay, I know how to solve equations like this. Um, that there inside the brackets must equal 0 for the whole expression to equal 0. So x plus 4 equals 0. And therefore, the single solution is x equals negative 4. 
Okay, I'd like you to have a go, please, at a couple questions on your own. So stop the video, try these two, and check your answers once you're finished. Okay, welcome back, students. Okay, well, x squared plus 20x plus 100, that might be of the form a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So let's just check it mentally to see if it is. So a is equal to x, b is equal to 10, since uh, 10 squared is 100, and 2 times x is 2x, 2x times 10 is 20x. So it does check. And that means we can rewrite this expression as x plus 10 all squared. And that means we must we know that x plus 10 must equal 0. That's the only way that whole expression can equal 0. And therefore, x must equal negative 10. And all of these uh, equations that involve uh, squares of sums and squares of differences only have one solution. OK, last one. We note here that we've got a, a factor of 3. That's got a factor of 3. That's got a factor of 3. So the first thing we're going to do is take out the common factor of 3. Now, is that a, can that be written as a square of a difference? Well, let's have a look. a is equal to x, b is equal to 4, and 2 times, oh, sorry, Let's do that again. A is equal to x. B is equal to 2, since that's b squared. Uh, 2 times x is 2x times 2 is 4x. So it does fit the pattern. And therefore, that can be factorized or written in factorized form is x take 2 all squared equals 0. Now, 3 can't equal 0, but x minus 2 can equal 0. So that's the only solution to this equation. And therefore, the solution to the original equation is x equals 2. So that's the difference of two squares. Um, in year 10, you'll be looking at some slightly harder ones where we've got a coefficient in front of x squared, but that's enough for now in year 9. Okay, one video to go in the series, which is to look at some applications of all of this.